the beautiful and laid-back island of Langkawi. Once an island of myth and legend, it is now a thriving tourist haven filled with non-stop action and excitement. Today, Langkawi is home to the world's hottest mountain bike race, LIMBC 2013. Professional riders from near and far all converge to pit themselves against the elements with the hopes of claiming glory. Will they succeed or will they succumb to Mother Nature? For the first time in Asia, Langkawi plays host to the UCI MTB World Marathon Qualifying Round. Alongside LIMBC 2013, this is truly Langkawi's two-in-one prestigious mountain bike event. The UCI MTB Marathon Qualifying Stage was held in Stage 3 and saw riders facing up to hot, sticky conditions. With technical sections that weave in and out of dense jungle, riders will find the course that will make or break their chances to qualify for the finals. In the men's elite category, 81 kilometers awaits the riders in a three-loop race, while in the women's elite category, they have to navigate 52 kilometers in a two-loop race. In total, 10 riders from each category will qualify for the UCI MTB World Marathon in South Africa, making it a day of pure happiness for some, while for a few, pure agony. In the end, it will all be worth it as the riders look to edge out each other to emerge top of the crop. For the men's elite, Stefan Toom of Ultra Rose Sports Racing takes his position in the starting lineup. Frenchman Maxime Marot of BHBR Suntworth will also be vying for a ticket to South Africa. While in the women's elite, Maurice Strauss of Orange Monkey Pro Team will be looking to book her place. Esther Doza of Vitalis SE and Adelheide Morath of Sabine Spitz High Bike Pro Team are both fierce competitors eyeing for the top spot. Flagged off by LIMBC honorary patron Tun Dr. Mahate, this qualifying round, which starts and finishes in Oriental Village, will be tough as many will find it hard to adapt. Dehydration, heat stroke, gear problems, and flat tires are just some of the challenges that they will have to face as they battle through the course. With places up for grabs, which one of these riders will qualify for the UCI MTB World Marathon 2014? Stefan Tompier of BHBR Suntour leads in the first loop with Thomas Dietsch of Bulls immediately setting the pace. In the second loop, Deitch pulls away with a commanding lead overtaking Stefan Thum, while Simon Geckenheimer pulls out of the race, suffering from technical problems. In the third loop, a new contender emerged, surpassing Stefan Thum as the clear crowd favorite. The rider is none other than Madani Parvis of Team Iran, and his story is an inspiring one. Sometimes, being the underdog of the race isn't so bad. While the crowd focuses on the favorites, the underdog rides on like a fighter with nothing to lose. Clearly making a statement of intent, Parvis, along with his compatriots, have something to prove as they look to wave the Iranian flag at next year's finals. As for the women's elite category, Orange Monkey Pro Team's Maurice Strauss breaks ahead of the pack of 17 riders from the first loop. The South African continental champion has to dig deep as she later claims to have stomach problems before the race. She pushes on with Esther Doza closing in. Hungarian cross-country champion Doza is no pushover either, as she pedals strong to make up ground with the leader. Meanwhile, Adelheid Morath from Germany's Black Forest seems to be in a league of her own as she powers through the course, hoping for a podium finish. She catches up to Strauss and Doza in the second loop, making it a three-way battle at the front. As many riders begin to suffer from fatigue and technical problems, two Asian riders are proving that they are a force to be reckoned with. Petite rider Kusmawati Yazid of Team Indonesia pedals strong in search for a qualification place. 
She is clearly not phased by the mighty jungles of Langkawi. Local rider Ainurul Huda Rusli does Malaysia proud as she makes up good time to keep up with the leading pack. Dengan saya ni seorang ibu kepada tiga orang anak, uh, saya dapat boleh habiskan kira pencapaian yang baiklah bagi saya. As the UCI MTB Marathon Series heats up under the Langkawi sun, both the men and women seem to be encountering problems after problems. One of the factors is the course itself, as many find themselves victims to the elements. From muddy trenches, technical tracks, rocky terrains, fire trails and river crossings, even the best find it hard to cope with these conditions. Only the determined few will prevail, and after nearly three hours of furious pedalling, both the men and women clocked in in impressive times. Most notably, Iranian Madani Parvitz overtaking Stefan Tum to take second place. I'm really happy because the first time for the Iranian riders, it's been, it's been happened. Stefan Tum from Ultra Rose Racing Sports Team takes third place. I'm really proud to, uh, to have this on my shirt because uh, I love this island and I also love this race here. And uh, I'm happy uh, to come here as number one and I'm also happy that I can finish today in the podium position. While Bulls team Thomas Deitch takes the crown. It's not often that I uh, race some, uh, some race so, so hard. Today it was more fighting against me than fighting against uh, other riders. It was really tough. For the women, the top three riders all made it to the finishing line, but it was Adele Hyde Morath who finishes first. I was in front from the start and can uh, hold it into the finish, so it was perfect for me and it was a really big experience to be in the jungle. It's the first time for me, so yeah. Orange Monkey Pro Team's Maurice Strauss takes second place. I was actually looking forward to some rain. It brings another aspect to racing and makes balances out the field and really a mental game then as well. But hats off to everyone racing today. It was an amazing event and great competition out there. And Esther Doza finishes third. I think there was everything which a good mountain bike race uh, includes. Uh, technical uphills, downhills, very steep uphills as well. Here's the final list of all top 10 riders from both categories who will be making their way to the UCI MTB Marathon Series 2014. Highlight of the day goes to Ainurul Huda as she becomes the only Malaysian rider to qualify. The endurance team rider clocked in a personal best of 5 hours 37 minutes and 13 seconds. Setiap hari memang saya akan kayu, uh, cari masa untuk kayu. Itu satu kepuasan lah bila saya dapat pagi 10. Coming up next, the temperature gets hotter in the feature event at LIMBC 2013. The prologue time trial race and the stage one Langkawi round island race. We're back at LIMBC 2013. First up is the Prologue, an individual time trial race where Langkawi's iconic Eagle Square is the focus. In this time attack, each rider will start at 30 second intervals and will go through a short but fast paced 2.4 kilometers, taking them through Legenda Park and finishing at Eagle Square. In the men's open, French Dynamo and Man of the Hour Maxime Marot from Team BHBR Sunter KMC clocked in the fastest time of the day 5 minutes and 2 seconds enabling him to wear the yellow jersey for tomorrow's Stage 1 Round Island race. A first-timer at LIMBC, Marot was thrilled to make the fastest time in the prologue. 
Defending champion Fabian Geiger of Giant Pro XC team failed to even get into the top 10, finishing 12th with a time of 5 minutes and 18 seconds. Nicola Roback of Goldvest Power finished second, clocking in at 5 minutes and 4 seconds. Geiger's teammate Emil Lindgren is enjoying better fortune as he managed to finish third, clocking in at 5 minutes and 6 seconds. Here is the official result for the men's open category. Meanwhile, in the women's open, the usual suspects took center stage as they proved to be just as fast as the men. Eva Lechner of Italy's Colnago Sud Tirol finished first, clocking in at 5 minutes 36 seconds. Lechner, who also won last year's prologue, is proving to be the prologue queen. The women's defending champion, Leah Davidson from Specialized Factory Racing, clocked in with a second fastest time of 5 minutes and 42 seconds. Lechner's teammate Natalie Schneider, who finished fourth at last year's LIMBC, took third place, clocking in at 5 minutes 36 seconds. It was the same script as last year, as all three women made it onto the winner's podium. Here is the official result for the women's open category. In the men's masters category, Marzio Dejo from Sicily Olympia clocked in with a fastest time of 5 minutes and 26 seconds. Britain Nicholas Craig from Team Scott came in second at 5 minutes 30 seconds. While Patrick Janssen from Team Tan Tusha was third, clocking in at 5 minutes 50 seconds. For the senior men's masters, Mads Bodke from Da Vinci Specialized took first place with 5 minutes 49 seconds. South African Dion Wilkins came in second with a time of 6 minutes 15 seconds. While New Zealander Derek Milne of Nelson Mountain Bike Club came in third place with a time of 6 minutes 17 seconds. With the prologue completed, Many have learned that even though the course is short, it should not be underestimated. The action is fast-paced and furious as riders tackle grassy mounds and a 400-meter open beach course. Clocking in the fastest time will ultimately determine their place in the starting lineup. The prologue will serve as the perfect warm-up for tomorrow's Stage 1 Langkawi Round Island Race. Day 2 of LIMBC 2013. As the morning sun breaks on the island of Langkawi, the race day action gathers momentum with riders confident of their chances. We caught up with some of them to find out their thoughts on the race. Hopefully everything sticks, works out nicely and um, yeah, it's, it will be a good taste to see how the rest of the competition is. Obviously the first day most of the riders are still fairly fresh. Um, I think it's going to be a tough one, especially with the heat and humidity today. It's just skyrocketed. I think uh, it will be Maya, also Eva, who won yesterday the Borlock, uh, Leah Davidson, also Blaser and Schneider. So you don't know who, uh, uh, which girl is uh, fast. Yeah, though they will be all strong, and it will be a hard battle. Yes, 65 kilometers is not so long. Uh, the kilometer, uh, the, the marathons, normal marathons in Europe are much longer. But uh, I think today it's also very hard because of the heat and the muddy sections. So we had to look what is possible today. Stage one, Langkawi Round Island Race will start and end in Legenda Park. This course will give the riders an overview of all the courses in the following days. The 65-kilometer course features technical single-track rubber plantations, waterlogged crossings, steep inclines before reaching a final beach section. Riders will have to rely on their skill and experience as the weather was hot with occasional showers, making the tracks ideal for mountain biking. We caught up with Yellow Jersey winner Maxime Marot to find out how he felt about his chances in today's race. I expected to do my best and uh, after we will see if I can win uh, the stage uh, or, uh, or take more seconds uh, on, uh, on the second place. 
I don't know really, we will see, we will see. And so it starts. 65 grueling kilometers for our riders to face. The men's open riders were flagged off first with LIMBC 2012 defending champion Fabian Geiger eager to atone for yesterday's dismal performance. Immediately the race intensifies as both yellow jersey rider Marot and Geiger leading the starting pack. Riders' fortunes can turn in an instant as the leading pack was replaced with a newcomer in Kohei Yamamoto of Specialized Racing from Japan. Christian Hynek from the Czech Republic gives a fierce challenge to be part of the leading pack. Favorites Geiger and Lindgren both fall behind as new challengers ready to stake their claim on the prize yellow jersey. In a cleverly strategized move, Lindgren continues to enjoy good fortune as he pedals to overtake Hynek, Yamamoto and Marot. Defending champion Geiger rues his bad luck as he and Christian Hynek encounter technical problems in the last 10 kilometers. In the end, it was Lindgren who finished top as he outpedaled Yamamoto and Marot to cross the finish line first. The Flying Swede winning a fiercely fought race to the end with a time of 2 hours, 19 minutes and 39 seconds. Prologue King Maxime Marot booked second place with a time of 2 hours, 19 minutes and 40 seconds. Just a mere 9 seconds behind Lindgren. Third place goes to Kohei Yamamoto who finished with a time of 2 hours, 19 minutes and 40 seconds. The Japanese rider from Specialized Racing clearly displaying the fighting spirit from the land of the rising sun. It feels really good uh, so, uh, to win the first long one. It's, it's good for me. I was third yesterday and to win today, it's awesome. I was alone and uh, Koei Yamamoto and Emil Lindgren chased chase me. They catch me and uh, after we finish uh, in sprint. So I lose the sprint, but uh, I'm so happy. Normally, I, I keep the, the yellow jersey. I'm happy to get the podium. Uh, yeah, sad place, but uh, yeah, really happy. And today is uh, yeah, very hot and uh, very muddy. <laughs> so really tough race. Here's the official list for the Stage 1 Men's Open category. Ultra Rose Sports Racing Team Stefan Thum and Simon Geckenheimer both failed to make it into the top 10 as they finished 20th and 61st respectively. Find out if the action in the Women's Open is as hot as the men's. In the Women's Open category, the National Championship riders Leah Davison, Eva Lackner and Elizabeth Swem just some of the names leading the front pack. Maya Wachowska from Giant Pro XC Team is proving to be the rider to look out for. The MTB Marathon 2003 World Champion is pedaling hard to catch up. LIMBC 2012 defending champion Leah Davison leads the pack at the feeding zone. The rivalry heats up as both Leah and Maya pedal strong. But unfortunately, the front two got sidetracked into the dense jungle, losing minutes in the process. This gives the chance for Adel Hyde Morath to take the lead. Italian Eva Lechner is in hot pursuit in second place. And the pride of Slovenia, Blaza Klemencic, following closely in third. All three women are locked in a three-way sprint to the finish line. In the end, Adele Hyde Morath of Sabine Spitz High Bike Pro Team finishes first with a time of 2 hours 47 minutes and 4 seconds. Eva Lechner comes in second, clocking in at 2 hours 47 minutes and 4 seconds. Blaza Klemencic of Karlot Bike Team comes in third place with a time of 2 hours 47 minutes and 4 seconds. 
Yeah, in the middle part it was so flat and it was a yeah, tactical race and not go full, save energy and yeah, but the race was a little bit strange because two riders are were in front and I think they have um, go uh, the wrong way. The last long uphill, I think it was the hard, it was really hard because it was really steep, but also the other parts of the course, it was uh, hard about the mud. Last year we raced this uh, course three hour and I know and I uh, always saw my watch to see how long to have to the finish. Here is the official list for the stage one women's open category. It was business as usual in the men's masters category as Italian Super Marzio Dejo takes first place with a time of 2 hours and 29 minutes. Britain Nicholas Craig takes second place with a time of 2 hours and 31 minutes. In third place is the consistent Patrick Jensen of the Netherlands who clocked in at 2 hours and 40 minutes. While in the senior men's masters category, Mads Botka came in first, clocking in at 2 hours, 53 minutes and 26 seconds. Second place went to Derek Milne of Nelson Mountain Bike Club, with a time of 2 hours, 53 minutes and 37 seconds. Landing in third place is Australian Craig Peacock, who finished with a time of 2 hours and 57 minutes. Well, there you have it. All the action, all the thrills and all the spills of Stage 1 of the Langkawi Round Island Race. Let's catch up with Datuk Malik Maidin, CEO of Human Voyage, to find out about his expectations and hopes for this year's race. It's a, it's a lot of element, actually. First, the riders like the track that we built, even the tough, one of the tough tracks around the world. But they still like to come here and uh, landscape in Langkawi is suitable with this mountain bike race. The second element is, is uh, of course, the, the prize money is one of the biggest in the world. This is the first in Asia that, that we organize the stage race. Um, the increase of the number for the stage race since year one until now, it will be uh, almost double the riders coming, especially on, on the international. We can say that 80% is international, 20% is, is local. Billed as Malaysia's premier sports tourism destination, the LIMBC Jamboree is a public fun ride open to all. Amateur riders get to join in the fun of mountain biking together. With lucky draws being held, one contestant won a brand new car, presented by Tun Dr. Mahathir himself. In the next episode, we will bring you more exciting mountain bike moments. Before we leave you, here's the current individual general classification for the men's and women's open.